And we are live here at Heard County, Georgia. Finally. Um, <laughs> this is not the way we planned it, folks. We had a, a, a great thing going all the way until about two minutes before we were supposed to go live, and feed just stopped. We lost it's, all service. So, Will Griffin, I, hey, folks, if we go down, just know that we are going to try to get back as soon as possible, but we are going to try to keep going. Uh, have patience with us tonight. We want to thank Will Griffin for being a miracle worker, kind of like Nathan was last year for us. So, uh, we appreciate it. And uh, But here we are, Tyler, Heard County, three hours away from Raven County. Well, it's unless a normal, you, normal unless, away game for uh, us. Unless, unless you take Atlanta traffic, and then it's four hours yeah. away, so, right? We're excited to be here. Oh, it's cooled man. off about 20 degrees since we, we arrived. Hey, and I can tell you what, beautiful stadium. People are great down here. been very nice to us. But you can hear our crowd. They're ready to go yeah, tonight. Yeah, we've got a great crowd. Listen, this 2018 state champ, so – yeah, and that's the truth, you know. I mean, it, hey, this this team may be one and two this year, but this is a storied program, one of the best. Well, now they're single A like we are, but one of the double A programs that it was. Hey, that's what people look to. That's what people strive to be was Heard County. Correct. You know, so uh, a lot of pride in this program, and you can see why beautiful facilities yeah. around here. But uh, here we go tonight, and you know, here's the thing: is that. We're three and zero. We're three and zero. We're going against this Heard County team, and uh, you just want to make sure that we're still up, that we're not taking anything for granted. Going Lin against a one and two team. Hey, Lindsey made a pretty good point. They got a train horn too. It's not it just quite not, as good as ours. It's not as loud it's not as, as ours. Not, not quite as good as ours, Dan. I think a few decibels uh, lower. I don't know who won the toss. But we are kicking off. Hey, Darren, if you could keep on that guy about trying to get us a Wi-Fi password, we sure appreciate it. <laughs> he, he said that the uh, principal was the one that was working on it, but I see him standing over there. I don't know that he's – I don't think it. they're working on it real hard. They're, uh, they're not going to help us much, are they? Like no, that'd be right. they been They've been nice to a point. But here we are, about to be ready to kick off. Wasn't much of a lead in tonight, folks, but here we are. Glad to be back. Absolutely glad to be back. And there's the kickoff. Number five for Hurt's going to take it on the seven. Going to try to get around to the right side, and he's got some room. There's a block in the back and a hole in there. <laughs> Going to be brought down about the 26. Where Heard County will take over. And you know this Heard County offense, uh, Tyler, I, talking to Coach Davis this week, they're going to, just like last week, you're going to see a lot of formation. They're trying to figure out who they are right now. So we're going to see all, all kinds of stuff out of this Heard County team. Yeah, and look, this is a non-region game for both teams. So, um, you know, they're probably going to come out and try some different things against us and Get ready for their region play. A very young Heard County team. Uh, their best player just left the team at the beginning of the year, went to IMG Academy, which is one of the foremost football programs in the country for high school. That's, and, that's uh, a huge loss. That's a huge loss. All right, quarterback takes a snap. Going to roll to his right, a little short pass, incomplete. Nice, nice. Had and I know a lot of these, a lot of these players in this herd county are young. They're ninth and tenth graders. Most, you know, they see what's coming. They and, do. Uh, but they've lost a lot, just like we did last just year. Like but we you did. know, I, but I, you know, we <laughs> all the all the doubters out there. Raven County's playing well we, this year. We are playing extremely well, and, and you no, know, same style of football. Yep. Hand off. Up nice. The middle. Caesar Number Cruz. Seven. Caesar Cruz. Meets number seven in the backfield. That's going to drop him for a loss of what, Darren? Looks like about a yard. I don't know that Caesar was touched right there. If not, if not, he he, he, he real late right there. Yeah, he got around the block and he was gone. I got a hundred. Says this is a pass play. <laughs> Heard County going to spread us out. Man in motion. Going to fake a little jet sweep, throw it over the middle. Oh, and he Jared, did a flag. Oh, late oh. flag. There was, there, late was some, flag. there was definitely some contact going across the middle right there. Couldn't tell who initiated it, though. 
but we got the flag. Yeah, Jared on the coverage there, number nine. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. In high school, do they take into account whether it's catchable or not? You know, that rule's changed so many times. I do not think they do. Well, obviously they didn't on that one because that ball was nowhere near catchable. They are just run out there and fall down and let the guy throw it in the stand. Still passing the game. So here we go. We are first and 10 from the 40. Refs are still congregating, talking a little bit. Got a three wide to this side, near side. Man going to go jet in motion. Sweet. Little jet. Oh, and we play it great. Who is that led the tackle? Uh, it's, it's one of the hallmarks. It's one of the, Number five, Hayden Ross. It's one of the hallmarks of Raven County's defense, how they swarm and how they, how they you know, just track them down like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a – it is. You don't see many white shirts away from the ball right no, there. No, you don't. And, and look, I, Coach Ross has preached that, and you know Coach Stockton did in the oh, years past. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we're going to hustle to the ball no matter what. It's going to bring up second and 10 for Heard County. 10-30 left, first quarter. Snap, handoff to the right That's side. Right there on the Little running room. It's going to be a gain of about five yards for Heard. Number 45. Brought down by 45. Ethan Owens. Ethan Owens. Looks like he hurt he, his yeah, hand. Yeah, looks like he hurt his, hurt his hand or wrist on the play. That thing, look, if you're Hurt County, you want to eat up some first downs right here and run the clock, keep our right. offense off the field. Absolutely. But, you know, they've had some they've had some games this year with Callaway. Uh, they play Bremen. Little, there we go. Little option play there, and we played that great. Absolutely. Hayden Ross took the pitch man out of the play, and we had a swarm of Wildcats tackle well, the quarterback. You know, that's that's just assignment football right there, uh, Tyler. You, we, we worked on that this week, I guarantee you, a hundred times in practice, yes, sir. knowing exactly who was going to take the pitch man, who was going to take that the quarterback right there and just perfectly track down. Going to be a loss of one, fourth and sixth. Looks like we've got Corey back deep for the punt. Oh, got a little pressure. Corey. Corey's going to take the ball and be tackled out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. That's where the Wildcats will take over on offense for our first possession. And they're going to take a break, and we will too, and we'll be right back here on Wildcats Sports Live. How we doing, Will? Wildcat Sports Live. Going to hand it off to Lang Windham over on our left side. Going to be a flag on the play. Was That's it a legal, legal shift right there? Or what was it? It was right there. It was a holding, holding on offense. Going to be holding on offense. Not a way to start. No. And look, that's something we did a really good job of with the Daresville. Oh, man. Not a lot of penalties. We we played a great game on offense against the Daresville. And, look, that was that was kind of, you know, Stevens County game the week prior, our defense. Right. Yeah, kept absolutely. Kept us in that. And um, last week or two weeks ago against the Daresville was our offense. So that's going to bring up first down and 20. Well, when we play a focused game like that, you know, hard to beat. Hayden going to throw a, a, throw across the middle to Jaden. I'm sorry, I said Hayden. Hayden. No, it, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a bit. It wasn't a big pickup right there, but just a, a pass across the middle. Good timing on that. Going to bring up second about 14. Safety broke on him pretty hard. Keegan had time. Going to send a man in motion. Snap. Fake. And there's and Noah Lego. Lego. Noah's going to bring it up to about the 36-yard line. Going to bring up about third and 
three, long three, four yards. I'll tell you what, about a second into that play, I wouldn't give you a plug nickel. It looked look like it was all blown up. <laughs> <laughs> but Keegan pulled it out right there and was able to find his man and pick up a few yards. Big play right here for the offense. We're in tight. Something you don't see all the time. Bunch formation. A little jet sweep to Corey and they Heard County ate it up. Wasn't having any of it right there. They broke no. through the line and they, there was a, absolutely wasn't going to work. It's going to be a loss of about six on the play. And that'll bring on our punting unit. I know Coach Davis wants to see Corey more involved in the offensive running game. He's such a great athlete. Yep, absolutely. He's going to try to keep working him in. That way, later on in the season, when we start getting into region play, you're that if you're the opposite team, you have no idea who's getting the ball. We, you know, we can spread it out all over the field. Yeah, Corey's one of those guys. You, you know, you just you like you like having the ball in his hands. Like having him on the field. Lang punts the ball. He's going to get a good Rabin County bounce. Going to roll inside the 30-yard line to Herd, Herd County's 27. And folks, we'll be right back here on Wildcat Sports Live. Back on Wildcat Sports Live. What do we have right there, Tyler? Yeah, missed the first play. Little handoff over to the right side. Going to pick up about eight yards for Heard County. Going to bring up second and two from the 35-yard line. As you can hear, the fans are into it tonight. We got cowbells. We got rattle bottles. We got a little bit of everything down here in Heard County. Heard County going to run trips left. Hand it off back to our right side. It's going to be a late flag. Oh. Darren, what'd you see? I didn't see anything. I can't, I mean, he can't see that hold last time, so I know he's not. I don't know what he's going to. Let's see what we got right here. White Hat's the one that threw the flag. Something on that far side. Chop, Chop block, block on, on the us. defense. Chop block on us. That's going to be a 15-yard penalty. It must be a point of focus for these refs these years that they're calling that because I've seen that called more this year than I have in years. Yeah, I think that's probably the fourth or fifth time this year that yep. we've had it called on us. You just cannot take on that lead blocker below the knees. Right. Let's see where they're going to spot it at right here. They're going to mark it off from there. So explain to explain to the folks at home what that means, Tyler. It used to, when you pulled a lineman or a, a fullback out of the backfield, your corner or your, a backer could come up and meet that, meet that blocker on, take his legs out from under him and stop that play there. Um, and they, for safety reasons, sure. for knee injuries, they've yeah. taken that out. And, you know, look, it's natural when a, a smaller kid is taking on a bigger blocker to get low. Get low. And it's just something they're taking out of football. Take the snap, hands off right up the middle. Number seven's got a little running room. Going to pick up five. I'll tell you what, number seven's a hard runner. Yeah, look, Hurt County's come out ready to play. Yeah, they're, they're jacked up for this game. And why wouldn't you be? You know, you, you've you've had some down games and and, uh, and lost against some good teams, yep. and, and now you're playing one of the top ten teams in the state of Georgia in, in single A football. Yeah, you yeah, they're want, excited. Yeah, absolutely. Five forty-five left in the first. Zero to zero. Hurt will have the ball second and five on the forty-eight. Yeah, and, I, and I'm sure it's a well-coached team, too, down here in Heard County, so they've game plan for us. Number six takes the ball off to the right side. A little running room. Going to get down our sideline and be run out of bounds. Looks like he's still short, short of the first down. Short of the down. first down. Yeah. yeah, Scott, we were talking earlier. Heard County has made the state playoffs every year since 2005. Wow. So seven, 16 years in a row. 
Yeah. Well, in 08, they were state champs. 18. 18. Yep. Uh, I said 08. Yeah. 18, they were state champs. But you're not too far from move, removed away from no, the state championship. You're not. It's going to be third down and two for Herd County. Hey, Darren, what year was it whenever we played Herd County? We came down here and played them under Coach Shaw, wasn't it? Yeah, we did. It, it was 2012, maybe, sometime in that area. Yeah. Quarterback going to pull it, run to our, his left. He's going to pick up enough for the first down and more. Be run out of bounds at our 31-yard line, 32-yard line. Our fans are yelling about a hold there. Hey, Heard County did a good job standing our line up right there, and uh, we had nowhere to go. Yeah, right now they're no doing penetration. a great job up yep. front. Well, they're getting ready to come back to the right side right here. Just All right, Heard County going to be tripped right. Back offset to the right. Snap, going to run it to our left. And there's running room. Holding right there. Well, that's a, it's a that's another holding It's a right mirror there. of what we do right there, a pulling guard yep. come around the end right there, seal that in. Sealed that in. It's going to bring up second, and I can't see the tents in the way. It looks like second five. Yeah, somewhere right around there. All right, defense. Take a snap, hands off to number seven around our right side with Lyman. Oh, ball's, ball's on the ground. Yeah. We get it. Her no, County, Her player County got it back. Jumped right on it. Yep, fell right to him. A good lick right there, but I tell you what, it's a uh, they're doing something we haven't seen this year. You know, yep. we haven't we haven't seen this this kind of thing, and I think they saw something in our defense that they game planned against. Yep. It's gonna bring up third and two. Nick Beluga checked into the game. Look, here, here you are again. This is a great – this is what Herb County wants for four, under four and a half minutes in the first quarter. We've had the ball one play – or one series. Direct snap, number five, takes the ball right up the middle. It's going to be enough for the first down to about the 19-yard line. All it was is the quarterback just – where's the hole? You know, there, he had no design hole that he – Went right around the end right there, waited till something opened up and came around the outside and was able to make four or five yards out of it. That's all he needed. Hey, folks, let us know where you're watching from. We have Sam Voise from Australia and Lewis Lane from Chattanooga. Louis in Chattanooga? I bet you got your hand on the horn. Herd County going to come out trips left. A little handoff with the pulling nine to our right side. We do a good job of stringing that out that time. Yeah, great job of spreading that thing all the way out to the sideline, stringing it out right there, like you said, and, uh, and great pursuit on our part Very right there. Very good pursuit. Gain of two. Looks like we got a They're timeout. Call it three. Timeout, Wildcats. And while they take one, we will also, and we'll be right back here on Wildcat Sports Live. And we are back here in Wildcat Sports Live. Second and seven. Hurt County takes a snap. Number seven going to take it around their right side. 
Again, we boy, we filled those holes right there. Did, nothing to see right there. Yep. Had to spread it out the sideline. Great job. No gain. It doesn't look like. No yeah. Lego on the stop. Maybe a yard. Maybe. Bring up third and six. This will be a big stop for the defense right here. Yeah, where are we at? About the 16-yard line right there. Yep, 15. 15. 15. Oh, right, right on the 15. Folks, for the amount of people here, this place is loud. Kind of down here in little hole right oh. here. Yeah. All right, number five takes the snap direct. Going to run it to the right side. That ain't going to work. He's going to be close. No. He only got gave me a couple yards right there, didn't he? I think he's a yard short. Looks like he's two yards short. He's at the 10 or the 11. Exactly. Yeah, yard 11, short. Fourth and one. Tell you what, if you what are you what are you going to do right here? You you're going to go for it. You got to go for it. You you're at home this. right here. You got momentum on your side. You feel like you have momentum on your side. You've been moving the ball all the way down the field in four and five yard chunks. What kind of defense you call up right here for Coach Ross? They're going to stay in the same formation. Fifth left. And take time a timeout. Out. Folks, we'll take that opportunity to take another timeout also. We'll be right back here on Wildcat Sports Live. And we are back here on Wildcat Sports Live. 214 in the first quarter. The score is 0 0. We have had the ball a total of three pl offensive plays and three a plays. kick. Yep. And look, that's that's how a lot of these teams are going to want to play us. I mean, that's. You know, but it's usually a ground and pound. It's usually a triple option. Yep. They're, they're, they're spreading it out and still they making are. these kind of yards on us. All right, big play. Fourth down and a long one, maybe two. Put a man in motion. Going to hand it off to number seven right behind him, and he's got enough for the first down. Hey, he's close. He's got it, don't he? He's got it. First down and goal for Heard County. It's a hard angle right here to see. From about the – Darren, we on the six or seven? All right, boys. Bo, oh, you're back right here, Raven. Clem to left. Hand off to number seven behind the pulling guard, and he's met hard right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost one. I'll tell you what, we had a good push on. You got had a good push right there in the line, didn't we, Darren? Number 73, Emiliano. I think they've probably only thrown the ball about three times so yeah, far, really. Not a lot. No. Nope. They're running it right at us. They're spreading it out, spreading us out, running us. Little jet sweep with number five, Ty Wright. And he's going to be tackled at about the four yard line. Going to bring up third down. Third and four. Third and goal from the four. They have about three three athletes, you know, three three athletes out there that they can give the ball to, all pretty fast. Quarterback can run also. Heard County Braves. 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Heard County is going to tighten it up. Quarterback's going to keep it to the right side, and there's, there's a, a late flag. There should be a hold right late there. flag. There's a flag. Boy, that would be a killer be for her County right there, but help us. Holding. Holding. Hold on. That's it. Big 10 yards huge, right there. Huge penalty. Huge penalty when you're all the way down to the one-yard line. You was going to have a fourth down and one call to make, but now you have a third and a 
what, 12, third and 13? That's going to bring up third and 14. Third and 14. Third and 14. I think he's gave that guy like four warnings for holding, and he finally called it. Yeah, that's a huge penalty for Hurd County. 28 seconds left in the quarter. Now you may be back to a passing play right here. It's probably going to be that was probably the last play of the quarter. I don't know if they're going to need to. Well, they have to snap it right here, or they'll take a delay of game. And Ray going to take the snap. No, he was Run moving. Back, throw it. Oh, nice catch. Going to take it down to about the four-yard line. The you guy was still moving right here. He wasn't catch. even set. I didn't, and that'll uh, be the quarter, folks. Zero, zero. End right. of one. Well, we will be right back here with the second quarter on Wildcat Sports Live. Darren, which... And we are back here on Wildcat Sports Live. Big play right here, fourth and goal from the four-yard line. From the four. And listen, you, right now, Her County's one and two. You can't blame them for going for no. this. I think it's the right call. Going to take the snap, roll out to his left, and hit a wide open receiver for a touchdown. A little drag play right yep. there across the, across the middle right there, and it wide open. Wide open. Yeah, absolutely. Nicely designed play yep. against us. Five seconds into the second quarter. Six nothing. Third count. Well, it's how you react when you get punched in the mouth. That's right. How do you come back? Not the first time we've been down this season. No, not at all. Low snap. Oh, it's blocked. blocked. It's blocked. Caesar Cruz. That's a huge play. Caesar Cruz, number 66, came Great. right up the middle on a low a snap. Absolutely. Folks, while we're getting ready to kick the ball off, we'll take a break here again on Wildcat Sports Live. Well, we're going to wait for it a second. Let Will work through some issues right here we're having with the commercials. Stay and talk to you for a second. So, you're down six to nothing. Good play right there. Maybe take away a little bit of momentum right there. You know, get to yeah. get our team up with that block. And look, you, you, right now, if you're a coach on our sideline, you're just telling our guys, look, we've had the ball one possession. Let's go. Right. We're, we're not changing anything. We're, we're going to do what we do and go down, score, take the lead. Yep, that's it. You know, we just needed, needed to get a chance to go down the field right here, and this is what we're going to do. Sometimes it takes us a little while to get in some rhythm. Yeah, and look, you can preach as a coach week after week after week. This game is the most important game on our schedule, but sometimes high school kids look at records and look at who's played who and who's scored what on who. And Absolutely. Yeah, come out a little flat. But. And we've done that a few times this yeah. year. It's come out a little bit flat. Kick off to Corey. He's going to take it about the eight. Run into his own man. Oh, about the, oh, about the 25 yard line. That looked like an awfully man. late. He hit. came in late with his head. Like Led with his head. Awfully late hit. Awfully late hit. I'm gonna have to quit. I know I have to quit. Everybody at home is talking about the rest, but that's. The, I mean, the dude just came straight so in. So here we head. go. We're 25 yard line right here. First and 25. Yeah. 
right, you can start good. off with something right here. Try to get just get in a rhythm. Yeah. Just, just get some yards, get in a rhythm. Stay ahead of the chains. That's Last it. drive, we were first and 20. Well, that's it. Twins right. Pistol formation. He's going to hand off to Lane. Over the right side and nothing doing. Going to be a loss of maybe a yard. Going to bring up second and 11. They got, some pen they got some penetration right there and was able to read the play, and Lane never had a chance. Look, Hurd doesn't have a huge defensive line, but no. they are athletic. But no, they Very remind athletic. me so much of us throughout yep. the years. They're not big, but they are fast. Keegan's going to take the ball. Go That's a green pass out to Jay. That go. could be trouble. Gone. He's got somebody on his tail got right here. Got He's in. Touchdown. Touchdown. No flags on the field. What a play right there. Almost a little gimmick play off yep. to the side right here. Drawing all the attention to the near side right there. Jason sneaks out, uh, out underneath that, that uh, screen right there. And when he split that middle, there wasn't anybody going to try to catch it. He was going. Out. Number two had a chance. <laughs> he had a chance. He still couldn't get to him, though. And there you go. A minute and two seconds after Heard County scores. Tie the game back up right there. Tie the game back up. You had to break some of that momentum. What a great way to do that right there. I mean, we've been so, man, just laser focused on those short little screen plays yep. this year. We have scored a lot of points on the, you know, so when Keegan doesn't have to throw it all the way down the field. Good snap, good hold, and good kick. Woo. Man. That was a little time. Oh. A little different right there, but yep. it went through, and that's all that matters. 7 6 Wildcats with 10 53 left before halftime. And we'll be right back here on Wildcat Sports Live. And welcome back here to Wildcat Sports Live. Sorry, folks, we are just having some some issues tonight trying to get some of this audio back up. What a great strike right there. Yeah, that's the way you answer. <laughs> All right, we're set for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Nice, deep good kick, kick, good kick. Going to take it back to about the two. And great coverage. Absolutely great coverage. Oh, oh. they're going to call a flag. Uh, call probably a flag. Had a, must have been a face mask or something right there because a couple different flags came in. We tackled him on about the 10. Now they're throwing the flag further up the field. I think the foul happened at the 15 is what they're saying. Personal foul, face mask. Shame we wrapped him up back there. Yeah. Be another 15 yard penalty against the Wildcats. Gonna bring the ball out to the 30 yard line. And that's where Heard County will take over. First and 10. Right here, I'm sure Coach Ross had a had a hold of him, you know, during that break right yep. there, talking about some stuff. Maybe you can switch some stuff up. Make a few adjustments. Yep. Yeah. Twins right, shotgun. 18 going to go in motion. A little jet sweep to their left, and he is hit Ooh. hard. I mean hard. Darren, another right there. There's another, another flag. flag on the ground. We'll see what this one led that we'll tackle. See what this one is. Our fans think it's trying to it's find the white. Us. Trying to find the white hat right here. Holding, Holding on, on the offense. Holding. I mean, on the offense, excuse me. That reminded me of a play when I was in uh, playing JV ball. A guy standing beside me said, come on, defense, block. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Darren, did you block on defense? That'll put them back to about first and 23, maybe? Yeah, Something like that? That holding took place behind the line of scrimmage. We got a lot of that face mask back right there, so. Yeah, first down and 21. Ball 21. set on the 19-yard right. line. Kirk County going to try to spread us out. Little handoff right up the middle. Not a lot there. They uh, they don't seem to have as much success trying to come up the middle right there. They're having a whole lot more success going around the ends. So they, Those pulling guards, pulling tackles. Maybe a gain of a half yard. I'll, I'll give Heard County this. Let me tell you something. It's they're one and two. They you know they came in here. They could have come in here flat. Oh, but they sure. are they're blocking all the way to the whistle ends. They are. They're playing and, very hard. And they're playing hard. You got to give them credit. Going to come out trips right. A little bunch formation to our defense's left side. Yep. Moved up front. Not sure if they moved or we moved. I know Jet jumped, but he didn't go anywhere across the line. So I'm not sure. They- uh, I'm here from on the sideline here. I don't know if that's from y'all or where it said that they jumped or they moved. Yeah, yeah it's on them. Go. On them. I know Jet. He moved. Yep. But he didn't. He didn't cross the path. But I guess he he moved because he saw somebody on their offensive line move. I'll bring up second and twenty six for her count. I would say pass. Right now we've got them going the wrong way. I think they've done that to themselves the last couple plays. That's good. Big interception right here for a poorly thrown ball would turn out all right. There's the snap. Going to roll to our sideline. Got a lot of men on him and just does a good job of getting the ball away. Not taking the sack. He had nothing right there. It was well covered. Three people running him down right there. Either he was going to take a loss or throw it in the ground, and he, he decided to throw it in the ground. Yeah, Caesar was on him good. Emiliano, Jet. Jet's having fun out there dancing to the band. Doesn't Josh he always, though? To pump up the crowd. Third and forever, if you heard County. Do you have a quarterback that can throw the ball that far? I hope he doesn't have enough time. I hope he doesn't have enough time. If your coach or officer, are you bringing the house right here, or are you just rushing three or four? Third and 26. We're just bringing three. going to hand it off. going to hand it off. Right up the middle. Nothing doing. Nothing there. Maybe a gain of one. What our defense needed right there, though, Tyler, good we, we, we needed a good stop right there. We needed that kind of momentum for us. Yeah, and look, it, I don't – care what kind of football team you are it's hard to play from behind the chains and that's that's what we did the first drive and right. that's what Heard county did there that's right that's a you know you're looking at third and 20 or third and 19 or whatever they were right there that's that's tough that to, you don't have many plays in the playbook to to, to make a third and 19 no we've got two back deep for the punt Jaden and Corey. oh my goodness they didn't call that And they run into it. Oh, yeah, Corey I, uh, got hit coming up trying to make the fair catch. And we had one. We had, we had a Raven County lineman do a pirouette right there in the middle of the field because he was almost like they were at a waltz. He, he just kind of led them all the way around. You know, it was just a – and right in front of the white hat, too. I was really surprised. Yeah, well, I wasn't because that's like a third time he's missed it. But I said I was going to quit talking about the rest. <laughs> all right, our offense will take over on the 42-yard line of Heard County. Double slot formation. Keegan going to take the snap, drop back. Great job line. Great job Great line. Going to check it down to Jaden Gibson. Great open field tackle. Oh! Yeah. Great open field tackle by number 24 right there. Keegan had all the time he, in the world did. right Our there. Our line did a great job. Great job. Looked like we gained four yards there, five yards.
A little different formation yeah. right here. Two back set. Gonna hand it off to Lang oh, right up the nice middle. Hole. Huge hole. Great run. Lang hit the hole fast. Now we're gonna hurry up and go. Best best hole we've made all night yep. long for Lane right there, and he saw it, and, man, he didn't hesitate. It was pretty good to see uh, Branson. He came back across the line and, and kicked the uh... – Lane going to be offset to our left. Fake it to him, throw the little screen out to Willie. Really. Oh! oh! Nice. Willie. Oh, he took, took a hard a, hit. He took a lick right there. Oh, my goodness, he took a Willie. lick. Willie. Going to be enough for the first down. And he's still in there. They're bringing yeah, him out just to check him on him. Hey, that was crazy because the other guys want it laid on the field. Yeah. All right, we're going to hurry it up. Down at about the 10-yard line, first down. Going to hand off to Lang. He's going to bounce he it to the left. Take it down to about the three or four. Is that enough for a first down? Going to be close. Looks like it's going to be second and about one. We're going to hurry up, go trips to our left, pistol formation. See a lane window right here. And Heard County is going to take a timeout. Their coach ran all the way down to the goal line to get that one. Yeah, he he saw the momentum right there, and he wasn't going to let that happen. He saw, he saw exactly what formation they were going into, yep. and he said, let's stop this right here. And we'll be right back here on Wildcat Sports Live. We are back here on Wildcat Sports Live. Second two from the three-yard line. Shift the back off to our right. Hand it off to Lang up the middle. Oh, and Lang is going to be just short. There's a flag on the field. It's usually in the place of a illegal, illegal formation. formation. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Yep. Kind of what it looks like. Yep. Fault start. Fault start. Now that's going to be a five-yard penalty. Back us up make it second and seven from the eight. 7-14 to go in the second quarter. Darren, did you see movement down on that end? Well, I, could, I can't run the gauntlet of the sideline here to get down there to see, so I'm standing back on this end. So. I still think it's a legal formation because if it was a if it was a pre-snap penalty, they would have blew it. They, they would have blew it. it. Dead. They would have blown yep. it dead. All right, a little bunch formation. Keegan going to take the snap. Step get up. Him. Go. Go down about the five-yard line. Going to pick up two yards. Third and three. We can still pick up a first down without scoring the touchdown. It'll be third and four right here for the Wildcats. I tell you, Herb County's holding on strong. Trips left, laying offset to the left. Going to take the snap, throw it up to Jaden Gibson. Oh! oh. He didn't just like to a, have that yeah, one back well, right he there. He had him just a little out of his reach. There's, There's a flag. 15-yarder. And I think that unsportsmanlike conduct, what do you do that for? I mean, you got to score down you, and four. You just gave us the first down right there. Why in the world would you do that? Well, let's see. That will be a half a distance. It should be a first down, half a distance to the goal, right? Unsportsmanlike. Yes, yeah, so we'll see right there. I don't know if, if there was contact, but it's a personal foul on Sportsmanlike Conduct. Should be a first down. I think he hit him in the face. Wait and see right here what he calls. <laughs> if he hit him in the face, he swung on him. That would be ejection. 
Unsportsmanlike. They That's did, first down, right? They did not. Well, we're waiting to see right here what they're going to half the distance of the goal. I don't think it's an automatic first down. Automatic, automatic first, first down. down. What in the world? Wow. Boy, he just, if you're Hurd County, you cannot have that penalty. No, and I think, I think Willie, Willie got the best of that <laughs> argument right there, I think is what he did. He was the MVP of that yes, play, and he, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't get the ball. All right, that's going to take us down. First down and goal at the four-yard line. Let's see where they set it down. The three-yard line. I hate these points of the game, bro. There's so much arguing right here. You can't what, – what's going where and who's oh, doing so what? We, oh, they still, still got us at fourth down. Well, and that's the thing is that – they announced that it was automatic yep, first now, down. Now we're taking a timeout. Trying this to figure. This will be fourth and one. Uh, Coach, I, Coach I, Davis is is I, currently I'm, wanting an official to come over and talk to him, and he can't get one to come over. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, did, I didn't think it was going to be a first down without the personal foul. So... Looks like we're still fourth down, one. Ended up being a three-yard penalty. Right. <laughs> I think we got to go and roll this one in. Ball just inside the three-yard line. Come on, this guy's got a block right here. Two and a half yard line. Can we get a? Where's the first down we marker first at? Down. We're like one yard from the first one down. One yard, so it's fourth and one. Two backs in the backfield. The only thing you're doing is you're asking your line. You push with everything you got right here. Give us a yard or more. We'll try to draw them off. <laughs> going to change lane over to the left side of our offense. He's going to cross them over right here. He's going to go right over right guard. And it right he's to him, and he's in for the touchdown. Yep, he, he ran right over the right yep. guard right there. Sure did. With the first initial push, he had the first down, made a spin move, backed right into the end zone right there. That makes it 13 to 6. 6.25 to go in the second. Rimelard set for the extra point. Marcus has been pretty spot on this year. High snap, good hold, kick away, and it is good. 14 to 6, Wildcats. What a drive right there, way to come back down the field. A little confusing there at the end, but we put a touchdown on them and made it 14 to 6. And we'll be right back here on Wildcat Sports Live. In addition to commercial projects, Highlander also offers in-house design services to help get your sketch off a napkin and into a full set of blueprints. Call Mike McCracken at Highlander today to get your project started, 706-782-2200. about selling paint at Reeves Hardware Company? Whether you want yellow paint, blue paint, green paint, or pink paint, come to Reeves and get your paint from Reeves Hardware Company. Okay, who had the yellow? And we are back here on Wildcat Sports Live. We're getting ready for the kickoff. There's the kick. A little shorter this time. Hurt's going to take it about the 11-yard line. Going to bounce it to their sideline and has a little room down their sideline. Going to be run out of bounds. Looks like the 31-yard line. Nice pursuit right there. Hey, well, I got a second. Uh, just saw Doc Holloway's uh, commercial right there. He's getting wed tomorrow. We want to tell them congratulations. So, Dr. Holloway, Elise, 
Uh, congratulations, you two, on a big wet uh, on Sunday, uh, big wedding on Sunday. So we just want to tell you congratulations from us, and uh, thanks for all you do. We appreciate you supporting the Booster Club. All right, Wildcats come out on defense. Heard County and trips right. Going to hand it off to number seven over to their left side, and oh, not a lot going stuck, on man. there. Somebody had him by the legs, by the hips, by the yeah. chest, by the head. It the hell. There's about Miliano four, four Ortiz. people. You got Jarrett Giles in on that tackle. Nick Beloga coming off the field with his helmet off. 